Hi, we're here today to just give you a quick demo on how to deploy and retrieve the Sentinel Cerebral Embolic Protection System. So in order to do this, we're gonna need a wire, um, either 180 or 300 length preferred, um, Boston Scientific PT Choice Extra Support, a Boston Mailman, a Grand Slam um, 300. So, and then what we're gonna, and then we need the ACT of 250 or higher. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, it's only placed through the right side, so we're gonna go through our right radial six front sheath, and we're gonna advance the wire up into the anonymous and down into the ascending aorta. So once that's there, we can start, uh, we can start, someone's gonna hold the wire, and we're gonna start advancing the catheter. And we'd be doing this under fluoroscopy so we can see, and there's really good markers on this device. So once you see the red lines, that's where we're wanting to place that proximal filter is ideally right between them. So now we're going to go to number three. Pull the wire back. Got it. We're going to go to number one. Number and we're going to and we're, yep, right we're going to use numbers and we're going to deploy that proximal filter. And so, so here we go. Watch that up there. We'll start sliding this back. Yep. We're going to slide back, and you can adjust your placement as you're deploying this device. And that goal is one to two centimeters above that ostium. And so now we've Correct. deployed number one. Once we've deployed number one, we want to secure that front handle. And now we're going to pull the handle, the back handle, about an inch apart. Right to, to, yep, about an inch to bring it high, a little higher in the aorta. And now we're going to start using that number two, which is our articulating sheath, to curve the catheter to point up into the um, left. Um, common carotid. Number and two so, right here. We're yep, and there we go. Way. We're going to use the yep. go one way. Yep. And so now we're going to turn this. Now we're going to keep curving it. Oh, man. And, and once you feel like we've got our, you know, we've taken an aortogram, so we know where that left common is. Our ACT is 250, always when we put this device in and until we take it out. So once we get it, where we're pointing towards that left common, we're gonna advance our wire. If you look back here, so what we're doing is turning the entire device to get it to turn. And that's gonna give you like your, your AP rotation, but the number two is gonna give you the curve. Just the number two is gonna give you the curve that he put on the, hand, on the catheter. So now he's gonna advance his wire up into that left common. And once it's in there, we're gonna then spread the handle back. We're gonna take the handle back further to snug it right up to the crina so it's out of the way for the TAVR equipment. And once he feels pressure and can't advance any further, then we're gonna deploy the distal filter, which is number three. And you can see the gap is increased right here. Yep. Here to here. And then here comes number three. So number three is down, located down here. Yep. And you're gonna hold it just like that. And we're gonna you know, carefully deploy. And as you can see up there. Into the left common. And you shouldn't meet with resistance. If you do, you can just tap, you know, just lightly touch the number two to adjust the angle of go. deployment. And once that's in there, that's how we're going to leave it. That's how it's going to stay during the TAVR um, um, procedure. Again, with an ACT of 250. Now the procedure is done. We're ready to take the Sentinel out. We, we have not given, you know, we, our ACT is 250, but we're going to reverse the steps. So we're going to go number three, and we're going to we're going to resheath the number the distal filter. That's us back here, sliding backwards. Mm -hmm. It's going to put the sheath. And under fluoroscopy, you'll see when the metal tip ends. So once we've fully deployed, then we're going to put the handles together, which will drop that back into the aorta. And at the same time, we can be taking the curve out with the number two. And once it curves out, then we're going to push the handles all the way together. As a troubleshooting, you cannot um, resheath the number one uh, proximal filter unless your handles are totally together. So now we're going to slide number one forward. Okay, here's number one up here. Yep, right there. And slide that forward because that's going to fully resheath. And then holding your thumb at the tip of it to keep the catheter together, you're going to withdraw the device out of the radial artery. And that completes it. Very nice.
in at 250 ACT, out at ACT of 250. And the vice gets extracted.